Here we go. The fourth map. Spoiler alert, go watch the other ones before this. Because uh, Rainbow Shadow, three maps in the lead. Only needs one more to take the title. Cup of True is... Uh, well, he's ready. He said ready for the newbie kill streak before the game. And we're going to get into Fuse. A quality map made by City, which I'm going to have to say forever now to make up for saying it was Spike. Um, Spike's definitely good on this map, though. Spike, of course, the hoster of this wonderful tournament that we are commentating and playing and watching. And our competitors in the grand finals. Cup of True going down. Rainbow Shadow takes the first frag. Not a great position for Cup of True to be in there. A lot of spaces you can kind of get stuck in on this map where you've got to go past your opponent or make a lot of noise and your opponent can always cut you off. It's a map where... Every room leads somewhere, but every room leads to every other room. So it's difficult to get away from your opponent. Your opponent can always just move around and catch you up. And Rainbow Shadow hook it up. Some frags right at the start of this. Picking up that armor and in fact entirely denying it from Cup of True. Taking 10 damage using the blaster to get out of there. So leaving with less health and less armor. Going in with 91 armor, going out with 90. Uh, so that was entirely just to deny it from Cup of True. Beautiful shot there though. Really opening the bank account right now with five frags right at the start of this game. Fuse isn't a map you can really hide on. But coming towards the end of the map, it is something that you can sort of get away with. The way that these two players play... Rainbow, if anyone can hold uh, hold a lead on Fuse for two, three minutes, it's going to be Rainbow. But Fuse isn't the sort of map where I think you can get a lead, uh, be equal with your opponent, and hold that lead for a very long time. Kupertru just missing that rocket. He's not going to know where Rainbow is because he didn't connect it. If he'd have connected that, it would have been a good amount of damage, and he would have known exactly where Rainbow is. Based on the sound. Look at this. Rainbow is absolutely picking up as many uh, small items to try and deny any semblance of health from Cup of True. The Mega is going to be up and 12 health Rainbow was left with there. Cup of True is doing a lot of damage here. But just unable to finish anything out. And the way that Rainbow's playing, look, it's a denial game really is and that's the perfect way to play this map and connecting these frags together rainbow clearly knows this map incredibly well though rainbow clearly knows this map incredibly well knows the spawn points knows where people are going to be coming from knows what's going to be happening next and he's able to deny all of these items he should be able to deny this item does go down but uh, manages to get the frag on Cup of True and spawns closer to the item and picks it up. One item is going to go to Cup of True, but we're really looking at absolute domination over the item side of things here. Cup of True has done quite a good amount of damage. Like You've got to say he's kind of done more damage because 1000 to 1 1.7, only having one kill from 1000 damage versus 13 kills but it's just the speed of rainbow shadows frags he is absolutely on fire and if he falls in that lava he definitely will be but yeah rainbow is racking up those frags on a low health cup of true is why he's got such little damage compared to his frags and then cup of true is having to cut through thick thick armor and defenses that rainbow's got even if he does a little bit of damage, a little bit of damage, a little bit of damage. It's just going to do nothing. Like, look at this thing. It's like battling an armadillo. He's, uh... 
He's got so much stack and he's just able to float around the map. Really, this really is an absolute beautifully, beautiful display of how to play Fuse. If you wanted a tutorial from me on how to play Fuse, there's no point. Just watch this video. Study how Rainbow Shadow is getting around this map. This is textbook how to play Fuse. Crazy flicks indeed though. And Xenotic very rarely has a, like, some games have a bit of latency on the flicks. CSGO especially on the demo replays can look like you're absolutely cheating with the flicks. Xenotic's pretty good with uh, not, like, over-snapping flicks. Sometimes they're not accurate, but they don't quite look like perfect 90 degree turns that they're not. Maybe at 30 FPS they do out the other end of this video, but when you're watching live, you're pretty good. Rainbow's all but got this game sewn up. He's slowed down a little bit, whether that's a bit of burnout, potentially Cup of True can come back, but like, how do you come back from being absolutely dominated for five minutes, six minutes, like this? You know, you can get a major item. You might be able to get a frag like that. You might be able to push in, get a frag. How do you keep your head clean? Can Cupper True keep his head clean? He's still moving around the map. He's still definitely trying. There is absolutely nothing that says he's given up here. Moving out of that fight when it wasn't the right fight to take. And he's going to be able to find Rainbow Shadow. Beautiful. Like, that's something I've seen come out a lot more in players recently. Uh, sort of in the last two years since the Alex Cups that we had. Um, it, it's this this shotgun use where players like pick up the shotgun as a finishing weapon in perfect situations just like that. And that calm play, like we saw Cupper Troop, I think literally stop. And it... You know, it's something I think you really need to think about is making sure your shotgun is bindable. Because I set up a, key a keypad and I didn't put my shotgun anywhere near uh, anything. But, you know, my, my shotgun's like on a random key. I'm not even sure where it is. But I've realised, like, whenever I play, I'm like, where's my shotgun? And then I watch games like this. I'm like, the, the high-level players are constantly pulling out the shotgun. I thought, oh, I spawned with it, so it doesn't matter. Because, like, you know. If I'm using the shotgun, I'm using it until I've picked something up. Whatever. But, damn, you use the shotgun a lot in this game. It is such a powerful weapon. 70 damage if you can get into melee range, right click and slap someone with it. Like, 70 damage is not to be sniffed at for something that is entirely free because weapon switching is short and um, it doesn't cost any ammo even. Kaboom. Cupertru fragging himself. Two minutes left on the scoreboard. Cupertru has made a decent comeback here. But like, there was seven minutes pure. Or at least six and a half of Rainbow just absolutely dominating. He dominated from like literally the first frag came in the first ten seconds of the game. And the second one came in the second ten seconds of the game. I think the third one was before the 45 second mark. We're looking at absolute domination. And the way he's played this um, this off time, where he's been out of control, pretty good too. Like I know he's got the complete score lead, so it is, it's a lot easier to play that. Uh, because if you didn't have too much of a score lead, or you didn't have a score lead at all, and you needed to make a comeback, you were on the back foot and you needed to pick up... Uh, one or two frags to like tie it up then it'd be completely different to what rainbow shadow's been doing where he can afford to like basically sit in a corner for the rest of the game and still win but absolutely beautiful play from rainbow shadow taking this map copper true playing it has played it incredibly well like that's like an incredible display from copper true but Rainbow Shadow has just outclassed in this Grand Finals. I can be almost certain. There's no way that you're going to get like that many frags in 20 seconds. 
you basically need a frag every you need a frag every second and uh, that ain't happening we can see the power of the shotgun like the shotgun and the blaster all that rainbow shadow had and he was able to take up a reasonably stacked out uh, fight and there it is 22 to 8 the final scoreline four four games to nothing rainbow shadow takes it this isn't to say that uh Cupertor is a bad player making it to the grand finals incredibly well some very close games along there rainbow shadow absolutely hammered on this game and yeah like someone's just pointed out 3000 damage to 3.9k but look at the scoreline that is the picking up of the items that is how well uh, rainbow was able to play it and also every frag that copper true got was against a rainbow shadow who had uh, a mega health or some good armor so it was a lot of health coming through whereas the frags that uh the frags that rainbow shadow got it was like one and then bang straight into a death no armor no health so just like 100 damage you're only doing 100 damage each frag so that's the thing you know you got 22 frags in three in 3900 uh health yeah that's like a lot a lot of that's, that's a really good ratio anyway thank you very much for watching it has been wonderful i hope you watch the other demos that we have there may be some more coming out after the um after the grand finals it depends i'm asking people to send in any close games that they had because i'd like to commentate as many as i can send me your demos if you've got them thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next uh xenotic demo casting thing and let's just plug the live stream twitch.tv slash mx craven i stream these casts live before they go up onto uh youtube and I stream casual defrag a load and speedruns of other games like Mario Kart and stuff, but like a lot of defrag. Just chilling out. Thank you very much. See you in a bit.